In my confusion, I found someone who had thought about this topic a lot, someone who made it clear. Now at this point, I knew a little bit of science, but not a lot, and that made me the perfect candidate for Deepak Chopra. <laughs> I read The Way of the Wizard, Ageless Body, Timeless Mind, The Quantum Alternative to Growing Old, The Seven Spiritual Laws of Success, and How to Know God. I basked my way through Deepak's books. I thought I'd get it, God is energy and intention and the quantum field or something. Deepak says that by perceiving changelessness, time ceases to exist. I love Deepak. I did an interview on The View on ABC, and Deepak also happened to be a guest on the exact same show, and I gushed all over him in the green room telling him how wonderful he was. I did notice that he looked a little older than he looked on his book jacket, and I wondered if his perceived timelessness was working on his own body. <laughs> I told him how his books were helping me understand what and who God was, what ultimate reality was, and also I just had to tell him that I appreciated that he also had advice about how to create spontaneous wealth and how to lose weight. <laughs> Deepak says the world is the creation of the observer and the body is information and energy spanning the universe. Consciousness is the ground of all being. It created us and we are part of it. Deepak believes that we can tap into this big consciousness with our awareness and that it is the source of all creativity and intention and synchronicity. And if you want proof, well, the exotic field of quantum mechanics proves all of it. I was really enthralled with how Deepak was using science, the cutting edge science of quantum mechanics. This was so much better than using myths and superstitions to find spirituality. This was using science and physics to find spirituality. I was so intrigued by this quantum mechanics that Deepak refers to over and over and over again in his books that I decided to take a class in it. And what I found is that Deepak Chopra is full of shit. <laughs> to go back in time and instead of gushing at Chopra I wanted to say Deepak what the hell are you doing there is no universal consciousness that can be demonstrated with quantum mechanics there is no healing of the body or a resting of the aging process through telepathy I mean sure subatomic waves and particles do behave in perplexing and very strange ways to us especially when we try to measure them apparently but that doesn't mean that there are angels or that the universe wants me to make more money I mean I know this and I just took one measly class I turned on the TV one day to find Deepak back on his beloved show The View promoting his new book golfing to enlightenment and all the ladies were so thrilled who knew you could achieve enlightenment on the links <laughs> i started feeling so angry at the new age movement so arrogant so clueless i mean here was the generation that was supposed to be the best educated the ones who threw off the shackles of superstition and traditional religion and then what did they do they just gravitated towards chakras and auras and crystals and quantum consciousness i mean what is the matter with people.